Welcome guys to yet another Carcassonne expansion explanation and unboxing video. Today we have the crop circles. We see we have six um, crop circles. Of Originally these were only available when you bought each of the mini expansions. You guys may have seen the videos I've done and explaining those. Um, the only way I can ever find these expansions is through the big box. I think that's the only way you can get them in new art. Not sure though, but that's the only way I've seen them. Anyways, um, the basics of this game, there are a few variations, but we'll go through the basics of this game. When you draw one of these, you place it, you can claim whatever you want, and then according to their symbol, you have to do something. You can either place another meeple or remove a meeple. So, let's say you got this one and you decided to claim that city, sure. Now, you may claim somewhere that you already own another city because the shield means city so here red owns the city so you can put another one here to help his majority same thing here if um hold on these are these are flipped around <laughs> um if you place this one and then you claim the road then green can either choose to place a meeple on a road that he already owns or he has the option to remove the meeple that he already owns whether it scores or not is up to you um i will say that the rules suggest that it doesn't score but it doesn't specifically say so um of what i can tell also what i can't tell is it does like this right here does the field go through it or does it not? Not entirely sure. So you guys might want to figure that one out. Um, I would say it does. It, it makes sense to me. But I know a lot of people who say it doesn't. So I would talk about that. If you're playing with this, figure out what you guys think before you guys start this one. Um, here we got the pitchfork. So if you get the pitchfork, that means you can either place or um, remove one of your other farmers that you already have on the field so you can remove him now you can claim the city and then choose to remove him and then i would say that the road ends at the cornfield so the ends at the cornfield maybe you would say logic is the fields end not sure um maybe i'll contact z-man games if there's enough in the comments about it anyways here's the catcher Whatever you do, others have to do. So, there's, so this is where the rules vary. In the original crop circles, and the here in the winter edition, these this isn't the original. I don't know why I keep saying original, but in the winter edition, the rules do not state that other people do things. It's just simply what I said: you place a meeple or you remove a meeple. But in the big box expansion rules that I have here, they are different. These rules state that whatever you do, everyone else has to do. So if you place one of these and then you place another meeple in one that you already own, you have to go around the entire table and everyone has to place a meeple on a city that they already own. If you removed one of your meeple, then, so I, so I removed one of my meeple, then Everyone would have to remove one of their shields, one of their people, one of their knights. Everyone has to. Same with the roads, remove, replace on the roads, whatever you do. So two variations. The rules do conflict each other depending on which rule book you read. Um, over here, I have the winter edition version of the game. Uh, because you guys may have noticed that I have the Winter Edition. You may have saw that unboxing video that I had there. It's the exact same game. It just has different art. And the backs are, uh, blue. See? Different. But, yeah. Anyways, that is the expansion. Here we got the Winter Edition version. I got the, the, uh, new art edition version here. If you have any questions about this, 
uh, sit, let's comment in the comment section, and I'll put the official rules that I can find up in in a link in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being cool. And as always, God bless. Peace.